What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we back with some more. It's Dax and such. Look, you got this. It's basically like this. Anytime when I'm reacting to Dax, we always gotta hit that. It's Dax, cause let's face it, that's like his go-to and such. When you know it's gonna be him. But hold on, just give me a little second and such. Because I'm trying to see if my screen recorder would click on and such. Hold on, give me a second. Hopefully, hopefully y'all enjoying y'all day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I say, we on the road to 2K and such. So, there we go. Now it's on and such. But yeah, like I said, we on the road to 2K. So, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. And share with others too. And who knows? Nine times out of ten, some of these reactions I do to certain artists... It will, I will be surprised, right? Because I won't say never say never, but hey, anything could happen. Because if y'all if y'all remember when before I even reached a thousand subscribers, when I was like at around half of half a thousand or so, or even not even half, three quarters of a thousand, the nerdcore community. That's why I'm always gonna give my shout out to them because when I was even at that lower point and anytime I'm reacting to them, y'all always do well. I always tag them and some and they always watch throughout and such. Actually pinpointing certain things that I say and such. So hey, shout out to shout out to the humble squad and such. But either way, with Dax, you already know he's on this Oliver Anthony Richmond Richmond North of Richmond remix the official video now I've seen that the original song is going out and even though I haven't heard it yet but hey if there's a remix to it and it's Dax on it we already know with Dax he about to go crazy on it so we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials out there and without further ado let's get in the video United is United we stand, the It's a damn fall. shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, Shout out to Canada. Living in the new world. And it's so crazy that Dax, even though he's Canadian, he's also got a US, he's a US citizen now and such. So. It's kind of and he's Nigerian, so it's kind of crazy that he's repping three. You can say repping three countries at once. He's a U.S. citizen, but he was born in Canada, but he has Nigerian heritage. So crazy. Man, you can say the man is trilingual. With an the rich man knows the rich man. Lord knows it all. Just wanna have. Change and I had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer, I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got common sense. I know God made man. And the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control And accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep. He's off to. You already know with Dex, he's de he's definitely going to speak on his mind about certain things. So it's not to be expected. I know God made man, and the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep with the thoughts of 45 years living in debt, 45 years can't pay rent, 45 years just for a pension. I'm too old to enjoy and go spend 45 years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends. Then I wake up and pray that it ends. thing is with Dex, ain't he like in his late tw late 20s or so, or probably 30 right now? Depending, right? I'm just saying. But goddamn, this thing, it's like this nigga already experiencing how life is in such with those type of, bar with those type of lyrics and such, like. I'm so, and, and it's like this. I am so, it's basically like this. If he were never signed, boy, is it, well, 
if he was ever to sign and such, let's be honest, within the music industry, certain rappers don't want to talk on situations like this and such, because, oh, they feel like if it's too peachy or whatnot, like, the thing is, what, if you as a person know, especially a person of color, right, if you know what goes on in the U.S. and such with certain racism, police brutality, and not just in that sense, or with the way how the political views are and whatnot, with this whole right wing versus left wing and all this political stuff, why you don't want to face? If you as an artist, your music is to let people know what your stance on certain things is. It's not all the time. Like I always say, there's a balance between getting lit and such. But also a time where you got to be serious on certain subject that's going around, not just in the music industry, but in the whole entire country. I'm too old to enjoy and go spend 45 years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends. Then I wake up and pray that it ends. Living in the next world, with an whole soul. The rich man knows the rich man, Lord knows they all just want to have. It's of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree They're taking God out the schools, our kids don't know what to believe From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails and Gen Z Gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored Gen Z, hey, and then them went at Gen Z for They thinking they know what music is and such And now Dax is going at Gen Z For certain political, for certain things that's going around in the country Hey it's basically like this. Eminem in a way could be able to do that too. But he did. But hold on. I hear something on my phone. Give me a second y'all. I'm, I'm going to check what it is. Give me one second. Hold on y'all, give me a second. I'm gonna be right there with y'all. Alright. Yeah. Sorry about that y'all. Had to check something on my phone, had a message and such. But like I'm saying, with Dax, you're not gonna get a lot of rappers that want to get, in a way you can say, political with certain things that's going on in the country right now. So. Descendants of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails, and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you and that's, and to be honest, right there, that, that is so crazy to even think of. Like, with the whole, from like he said, from 6th to 8th grade, they're 18 and such, the school curriculum. Let's face it, 9 times out of 10, what is so crazy about it that most people want to blame the students or the, t or the parents or whatnot. And I ain't going to lie, half of the time it is true. But if, you, but if you know you got students here who actually are good at some, who actually want to learn, who actually want to actually like really get to know some certain things in life not just around in the u.s or anything just in life general and y'all and the school fails to even want to do that just because of certain certain policies or whatever and such nine times out of ten you're gonna get angry angry parents coming after them because why you think every time when I, because anytime when I see on social media, whenever there's like a school thing going on, I see people going in on the, on the school board and such. Because let's be honest, the parents trust the kid, trust their kids. The parents trust them with our kids to learn, with their kids. I can't even say, why am I saying our kids? Technically, I'm a kid, even though I'm 23, but technically I'm a kid, but I'm just saying, if saying if I was like a parent, 
and I'm trusting my school to make sure my kid gets the best education to make sure she to make sure my kid learn I don't know if it will be a she or he if I ever get a kid but and not about the pronoun things just if my kid is either a boy or a girl and if I'm trusting my school if I'm trusting the school my kid to learn about a lot of things right to get the best education and that every time when she puts whatever my kid puts her whole thing into it right puts her whole whole heart and soul into learning what she or he can be able to can they be able to digest and the school not trying to really go in that hey you can't blame the you can't blame the parents for certain kids you can blame maybe because of what their household is but in general you can't blame the kid if the kid is actually trying to learn sometimes it be the school's fault from 6 to 18 the curriculum fails and gen z gets taught by their phones with force feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies that's how they attack us it starts with the youth if you lie enough you'll convince anybody the lies the truth so telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes drive or drink is and brother if that ain't such a thing right now with the like it's so bro and you and that's another thing too there'll be so like bro how why is it that so many parents like because of this whole gender what is it this i forgot what it's called the, the last word this dysphoria or whatever this whole look to me look it is what it is but the thing is why are you gonna make a kid who's little who don't even know how to freaking tie their shoes why are you going to make the kid do all that? Basically, why are you letting your kid become who? The kid is literally still a kid at that age. If he don't even know how to tie his own shoes like he said, that means the kid should not know about be who you want to be and such. Because the kid is still a kid. The kid don't know what he wants yet. He's still a kid. He's not, in, he's not even a teenager yet. He don't reach double digit yet. So... Let the kid be a kid for right now. But you got, but you will literally have parents out there who not even doing, who's not even trying to be in the right way to support them. Literally try to change their whole gender and such, because in a way with this whole woke thing and such, like bro, and it's basically like this with Gen Z and all that and such. Look, I know I'm 23. I know I was born 2000s. I know I'm technically. Part, but with certain views points and such look like he just said earlier in the song I just know about common sense I don't care about this whole right wing left wing political stuff nonsense I just care about what's right from what's wrong and what's very wrong is literally forcing your kids to become a certain gender when you already see they were born what gender they were born from from the minute they got out from the minute they was born into this world the gender what they are is what they are simple as that but then again you're gonna have people talking about nah that's not how it is like and you're going how you gonna tell a kid who's like literally six years old that you're literally forcing them if the kid is a boy how are you gonna force the kid to be a girl like why are you gonna force the kid to be a girl if the if the kid is a boy let the kid be a boy and even if the kid want, even if the kid is looking at the girly stuff, that don't automatically mean the girl. That don't autom automatically mean the boy is gonna be the boy. The boy wants to become a girl. That just means he like he just likes this. Watch, just means like he wanna play goofy around and such. Like we be forgetting, like, bro. I know we're not even at the end of this. You know, let me companies that's how they attack us it starts with the youth if you lie enough you'll convince anybody the lies the truth so telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes drive or drink is crazy common sense is it common unless it pays me that's the thought process daily look at the content we're creating lies diluting our brains i'm done trying to argue online with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change how many presidents does it take to have a life worth living an actual comfortable wage no more school shootings Let's unite these states! It's a damn shame. Let's unite these states, that's a bar. 
but yeah, but basically like with this, with that whole, the whole thing, you know what, let me wait till the end but the world's got to to hear my point of view. For people like me, for people like you, wish I could just, just wake, wake up, up and it not be true, but it is, oh it is, living in the new world, with an old soul. Rich men north, the rich men, Lord knows they all just wanna have total control. Hey. Shout out to Dax, he always does it again of always trying to push that message out there and such because all right so let me try to say what i was trying to say because i know i didn't want to make it be a long reaction but all i'm gonna say is this with certain things that's going on in america and such let's be real like all this gender trying to ch trying to make your child choose what choose what gender your child needs to be or so like especially if the child is literally like still in preschool how are you going to tell a child, how are, you going to t how are you going to force your child to be a certain gender if they don't even know how to tie their freaking shoes yet? Like, what? That's got to be the most ridiculous thing. And I don't care if I triggered people or so. Look, me personally, right? I know I'm not old enough. I'm not in my 40s or anything. Like I said, I'm 23. But even I know, but one of my family members says, like, when I tell them that I'm like, like I know what's right from what's wrong I know a little things and such one of my family members say I'm, even though I'm 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 like a young per a young person with an old soul so meaning that nigga me I just know what's right from what's wrong you have your beliefs and all which is cool but the one thing the one thing I hate when people do with certain beliefs is try to force that belief on everybody else like like I said you got your right you got your beliefs and what you want to do and such. And hey, I'm not the type of person to want to try to like come. Even if I want to, even if I want to have a conversation with you, that doesn't mean I'm gonna like flat out tell you if it's wrong or anything. Now, with certain things and such, right? It depends, but it depends on what the situation is. Cause now, with because people would get triggered over what the wrong pronouns is and such. When if you didn't see what like I remember like if y'all remember when there was this like shoot this like transgender shooter school shooter and such and inst and instead of people trying to actually go after after I actually try to like tell this person that say that this person was wrong and all that you know what they were doing instead I saw some of the people was literally getting mad not because of the school shooting not because of the school shooting that this person did but because we were getting his pronouns wrong like get at that point right there look this is what I believe in right and this is my beliefs right here if you have your pronouns she she they whatever fine right fine even though I would feel like it's weird, but I have to respect it because it's your pronouns. But if the minute you on some, on some like stupid shit like scooting up a shoe, scooting up a school full of kids, and you gonna be on some child predator type shit, or whenever you doing something that's so wrong, trust me, I don't give a flying fuck what your your pronouns is, and most of y'all and most people should know that too. Don't give a it don't matter what your pronouns is. I don't care if he was a girl that changed into a boy. I don't care if he was a boy that changed into a girl. The minute you start doing some wrong shit like that, fuck what your pronouns is. You know what your pronouns is? Fuck you. That's what your pronouns is for doing shit like that. Point blank period. That's what my thing is. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And let me know what your thoughts is on this whole thing and such. But hey. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. We're on the road to 2K. Make sure to go watch my other reactions right here. Follow me on my socials up there. And stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.